Hi, you guys. How are you? This is Jenny with Planner Perfect, and I am happy to be on tonight. And I wanted to also express that I hope all of my mamas had an amazing Mother's Day and that all of your Mother's Day planning paid off. So I am really hoping for that. I know it did for me. So I'm going to wait just a couple minutes to get everybody in the room. Uh, tonight, I'm going to talk about an update on Fountain Pen Bliss, okay? And then the rest of the week, I'm going to be talking about more on monthly goals. Hi, Debbie. I have a piece of hair. I can just, I can feel it. It's driving me crazy. So, hi, Christine. Hi, Nancy. Excuse me as I put on some lip gloss, but I'm wiping it all off because I thought I had hair on it. But I want, I'll go ahead and reiterate, I hope you guys had an amazing Mother's Day because um, I didn't get to check in over the weekend. I'd have to say, if I, hi Denise. Okay, that's wonderful. Um, I'll have to say girls, that the only thing that went wrong on Mother's Day, okay, was, if, as most of you know, I went vegan in January. And I have not looked back, okay? And I'm in love with this bakery that we have here that has this amazing chocolate cake. And I, maybe you don't know this about me, but I love, hi Chris, hi Anita. I like chocolate cake that's like, not like just chocolate cake. I like chocolate cake that like gets stuck in your throat. Like, you know, that's like so fudgy and so decadent that you're like, you know, after your first bite. <laughs> so anyway, I told my husband, I go, if I'm going to break my diet, it, this is the reason. Okay. So look at me in the eyes. And I was saying to my husband, look at me in the eyes. If you're not going to get the cake, I'm cool with that. I just want to know because I'm going to go get it. Okay. If you don't, I'm cool. I mean, just say flat out. I mean, I, I, I don't want to, I don't care what your reasoning is. I'm just gonna go get it, okay? Because I just wanna make sure that it's here. I am waiting to like, n just eat that piece of cake. He's like, I'm on it. I mean, I am on it, Jenny, like white on rice. You don't have to work. Yeah, Anita, it's called chocolate, chocolate on chocolate and then more chocolate. And then, so this is the ultimate cake. And my husband's like, oh, I I'm on it. You know, don't don't worry about it. You're the best mom in the world. Um, I've got this. I go, well, can you explain to me how you've got this? Because I don't know if I trust it, okay? So I just want to be double sure. He goes, oh, well, Taylor, you know, our oldest son, he's going to pick it up on the way over. I'm like, does he know what he's picking up? I mean, I was like really drilling this whole thing, okay? Yeah. Well, everything was streamlined, okay? So I already even had down like what I wanted for hors d'oeuvres that I knew that my, my husband wasn't capable of making or anything like that. So my girls all dove in, we went shopping. I made little bruschetta and I made everything vegan, but yet everybody would have dived in. It was like bruschetta with like avocado and tomato and basil. Girls, I'm gourmet. I don't, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm gourmet. So I had all of that. What else did I have? Home, homemade pico de gallo. I mean, yum with these and it was like in the health um in like the health area the supermarket there was like these lime chips like organic corn chips with a hint of lime and it was all of that around this pico de gallo hi elena and hi danielle and um i mean i just had the most delicious oh homemade hummus okay with broccoli and carrots and stuff and everybody was just really diving and they just loved it and, um, yeah, so here comes my son Taylor with this cake. And I was like, oh, sweet Lord. I mean, this is, this is what I've been waiting for. I opened it up. It was a white cake with strawberries on it. I was like, what the hooba is this? And Taylor's like, I don't know. Typical Taylor. Okay. I'm like, what do you mean? You don't know. Did you not, are you not my son? I mean, what, what is this madness? <laughs> He's like, I don't know, I just picked it up. I'm like, okay, well, first off, how about you go over and open it up and double check before you bring home a $50 cake that's wrong, okay? 
Okay, so I'm like, listen, guys, I can't even eat this, okay? I'm not gonna waste the calories on this. So my husband, of course, the, the bakery had it wrong. So if I were to say that one, I never even had a piece, everyone enjoyed themselves, but I didn't have a piece of cake. Guess what? You know what? It was meant for me not to have it. However, I didn't let it go down without a fight. I'm like, give me that phone number. And I called him. I said, yeah, I'm going to be by. Um, and, you know, I want like to order one. I'm going to pick it up for free. And I'm going to go ahead and pick that up um, when I plan on um, breaking my diet again. I'm not sure when I'm going to use that, you know. I bet the other redeeming, I bet he has other redeeming qualities. <laughs> Who, my, my son Taylor? Yeah, yeah, he does. He totally does. It was a total guy move. I mean, Taylor slipped into the typical guy move. I mean, Taylor is just one of those where he's like that. And and he, he just, yeah. <laughs> one time, my dog, I don't know if you know about my dog. I'll get into planning, I promise. My dog, his name's Custer, he's a Vishla, and him and I are really not the best of friends, okay? But only because he eats all my bakery goods. So one time when he, when Taylor, before he was married and he was living at home, I had baked about four dozen muffins, okay, for the boys, okay? And it was cooling, and I said, Taylor, listen. I go, hi, Lisa. There are four dozen muffins that I just pulled the oven. I want you to watch this dog, make sure he doesn't come up when I'm gone. I'm going to go run, you know, take one of your siblings somewhere. I come back and look like a frat party, okay? Everything was flipped upside down. All the muffins were gone. Four dozen, okay? Everything was just disarray. Frat house, frat house. I was like, um, and then he comes up, Taylor, okay? And also, when he does things like this, he acts like, he has balls, like he doesn't even care. Like he's getting a drink of water. I'm like, um, you wanna explain what's going on in this kitchen right now? And do you wanna explain where all the cupcakes went or the muffins? He's like, yeah, I don't know. I go, well, okay, I'll tell you what, it was your dog, okay? He's like, I don't know why you leave me responsible for him, okay? I don't know where he was. I, anyway, girls, that's Taylor, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I. You know, moral of the story, pick up your own cake for Mother's Day, okay? Yeah, pens. Jill, I promise, I'm getting to pens. So, um, moral of the story, though, guys, just pick up your own Mother's Day cake. I hope you guys had your your special cake. But you know what? Everything else was beautiful. The, the, part, the clouds parted. I thought it was going to be cloudy, but they literally opened up, and I saw, I saw sun. And, and I was like, you know what? This is the most glorious of all Mother's Days. And it was just, I got to kiss all my kids, almost on the lips, and we just had an amazing time, and my grandbaby. So it was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. So today, I wanted to give you, okay, I'm gonna focus now, but I wanted to give you an update on my fountain pen bliss. Now, mind you, I gave the fountain pen to my mom, okay? And she's like, oh, Jenny, I've been using fountain pens for a long time. I was like, oh, okay. Well, now I'm not only mad at some of my 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 PP girls, okay? But now I'm mad at you, okay? I told my mom. I was like, who doesn't share that, okay? I Here I am saying, girls, flare pen is where it's at. I mean, you guys are writing in luxury and no one tells me? So anyway, okay, after I was done being highly disappointed that my mom already knew, I did get, I did, Wendy, I went through each child, hugged them, called them George, and wouldn't let them go. Also, this is how I, this is how I roll. I, today, Brock wanted me to do something. He's 10. I said, yeah, I'll do it for you if you kiss me on the lips. Okay, so he kissed me on the lips, no problem. I go, Gabe, who's 18. I go, Gabe, see, see? If you want something, just kiss me. You can have whatever you want. Listen, I'm Italian. We can do this. It's okay. Yeah, definitely, George. Oh, you know what? Listen, Anita, I've already been to the Goulet. Am I pronouncing it right or is it Goulet? I, I, however you pronounce it, I was there. And I've already purchased from them. So I'm going to show you, okay, because I don't know if it was Chris, if you told me, Kathy Joe. I've been to Jet Pens, I think it was, and then I went to the Goulet, Goulet, tell me now, I don't want to say it wrong because it's just stupid. Is it Goulet or is it Goulet? 
I don't know how you're going to tell me. Maybe put a T if it's Goulette. You know, they both sell basically. Oh, Gou thank you, Chris. It's Goulet. I had a feeling it was Goulet. Oh, Brian and Rachel. We're on a first name basis right now. Okay, I want to be where you're at. Brian and Rachel? Okay, uh, that does it. I Apparently, I haven't watched enough YouTube video because I'm not on a first name basis yet. <sighs> okay, Goulet. Goulet. Okay, Goulet. I'm going to say it's Goulet. Yes. From, oh, anyway, I'm in love. Okay, so anyway, I gave my mom the Lammy. It was white. Medium nib. She got the blue ink. I never did even get her a black cartridge because I thought maybe she would, would have fun with inks. But I told her about the inks and she's like, yeah, I'm all about the inks, but I'm not. And I was like, oh, that surprises me. But she didn't want it. She likes cartridges. And, uh, oh, Diana, get out of town. Okay. Just love you. Um, okay. Now, listen. I know Lammy is truly delicious. Listen. Twisby and I have the Twisby and now I have a newfound love and now I'm fine I'm following them on uh, Instagram and I'm like Twisby listen me and you are buds they just released like this pink Twisby and so now I feel like I need to go purchase it because it's just it's there and it's pink I don't know the ends of it I mean because you fill it a bit and I was just like I love Twisby I'd have to say I've been using Twisby the most um, only because my pilot went out of ink and I didn't have my <laughs> my converter but I love all of them but um oh yeah you're new too okay so newbie to newbie I mean yeah I know it is so cute Lisa what what Kathy what oh great 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 I know Anita when I write on it I now I feel like I you know that whole peace thing everyone's talking about I feel like this is what heaven is I was like what is this some dream state I mean I was you know, when I'm writing, I'm like, this. have you guys seen like the writer's box? I forget where you can get those, um, but they're wooden and you open them up and people have got, I've seen, you know, women, even men alike. I mean, just having like their fountain pens and inks and like Midori's. I'm like, what are you guys, like, wh who are you? I just, I want it. I just want it because it looks delicious. Um, well, they better restock. Okay, Kathy, they better restock. Is it Galen Leather? I think you're right. I think you're right because I think I, um, I like, I saved that so I could go back. My cr what? You got it, Danielle? Did you get it? Now I'm jelly. You're going to have to totally post that and show it off because it is just sublime. I am, I am so in love with everything that's just top of the line amazing um i also shared my love for fountain pens with my sister anna and she's like you know what i'll pass so it just depends right i'm like you know what who needs you <laughs> i'm getting off the phone with you i don't like your attitude that's what i told her i don't like your attitude it reeks so anyway i kind of went on a lammy kick because i love the lammy and and then i got their um Jennifer, you know my love for Jennifer. I, you know, I'll have to see that too. Okay, awesome. Okay, now listen. What I did was I, because Lammy has all these beautiful um, pen, I got the pink, the yellow, and then you know how I have the black. So I, I plan on collecting all 12. <laughs> I think that's how many there is. Um, but let's take it slow. You know, what's funny is that we have the Prime account. My husband gets the emails for whenever when people purchase. And so, like, even my husband, like, my son who's married, you know, he's ordering through us because we got Prime, all that kind of stuff. And um, so he's like, what What are you buying again? You know, he gets an email. It's like, dink. <laughs> I'm like, what? Mind your own business, okay? But... For one of them, I did get the, uh, so these have blue inks, you know, and the blue is pretty, but it's still not my favorite, the blue that it comes with. 
Jill, yeah, you're talking to the wrong person. Yeah, no, I am out of control, Wendy, and I'm okay with saying it. I mean, I'm, I'm always out of control. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, yeah, I don't feel bad about it. But yeah, but you gotta have three different colors. I mean, and I, who needs the green apple? I do, okay? And I really do like the white. I gave my mom the white and I was like, I, you know, if you don't want this, I can take it back. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, the black is very classic. Um, lost that comment. You can never have too many. I let, I'm telling you. Okay, so, but with my yellow, that was the new one. Did I, yeah, I filled it up with black. You can tell because of the little thing here. But I got, finally I got the converter. And then I used my carbon black. I don't know if this even helps. Look, that looks weird. There it is. I got this and I filled it up and it was like so easy. I was like easy breezy Japanesey, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, that was pun intended. Anyway, so I filled it up and voila, okay, black ink. And I was just, I was like, again, heaven, heaven. So I have more converters coming because my white turned pink because on noodles, cranberry ink. Okay, now, Kathy, I'm glad you said that. Now, I got this. Now, if anyone wants to help a girl out, I don't know if this helps. But um, this is a Noodler's ink pen. And, Kathy, I think you tipped me off to this. Now, I love to doodle just the artsy girl side of me. Um, and I love to doodle in my plan books. I love to doodle in my, um, I ordered the new pink Twisby this morning and also got the ghost ink to use with black light for my grandkids. Okay, listen, Teresa. Okay, listen. Now I'm, now you've crossed the line, okay? <laughs> now you've crossed the line. Why make me jealous like that? Now, now I gotta do what you do and I hope that they restock. I saw that they had that ink. My kids would love that. And when Waylon's old enough, my grandbaby, he would love that too. Teresa, that is awesome. I'm getting it. As soon as they get in stock, now I've got to go get on a list somewhere because it's so amazing. Just bought Noodler's Lips and Gray. Amazing. Okay, that's their ink. Because as you know, I am psyched out about this ink. And I know you can't see it, but this is gray and I have it in my Twisby and it's to die for. And it's like the Kiri same. Kiri, I, I've had this same problem. I know I sound like an idiot, but it's gorgeous gray ink and I absolutely love it. So I have this beautiful ink and I've got the carbon ink here. And so I don't know. Now what I did, as you can see, it's kind of it's kind of empty. There's just a little bit of this red ink. No, it's it's like gone. But Kathy or anyone who knows, this is for doodlers because they have more of a flex nib. Was that right? Because yeah, Chris, triple duh. Okay, get on it, would you, girl? Okay. Now I did get syringes by Goulet. Okay, on it. Okay, on it. Now, I don't know how to use them, but I have them, okay? Um, yeah, so anyway, by the way, how, how do I fill up my pilot with the little syringe converter that it came with? Does, I don't know how to do that. I guess I gotta probably do a YouTube video unless you guys wanna like, demonstrate somehow i don't know how you do that like on another video um have you sketched anything with your pens yet anita i haven't done full blown you know so you know you know what i do is that i um i sketch all the time and i was using my twisby and i did flowers and stuff and it's so dreamy it's so freaking dream squeeze it squeeze it debbie like go put it in the ink and squeeze it Okay, Fountain 101. Okay, that's what I'll do, Chris. Um, Chris, you know a lot for not owning one. I'm just saying. Follow Brian's videos on YouTube. He will walk you through everything. It's great. Okay, okay, okay. You know I'm subscribed. I got the ringer on. Um, I'll go back and then watch. So that's what I'll do. 
that's what I'll do. And also with this, I'm assuming this is like for artists. This is why I got it. I even told my son, Taylor, who works with ink all the time. Um, he's like a branding artist. So I, I told, it's kind of tipped him to this. He didn't, he seemed like half interested, but I wasn't knowledgeable enough about it to win him over. I think that was my problem. I was like, Hey, did you ever hear this? No. Okay. Well, as soon as I figure it out, I'll tell you more. <laughs> that was more what I was doing. He's like, yeah, I'm kind of into the microns right now. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I know you are, but I just want to show you this. But anyway, girls, then I got the, oh, okay. Then I got the artist nibs pack filled with different nibs, flex nibs. Yeah, listen, um, Tasha on it, okay? I'm going to show you that in a sec. Check it out. I got Autumn Oak, um, Oxblood, <laughs> Blue Velvet, Red Dragon. I got Sherwood Green and Blue Flame, um, Oxford Blue. I don't know why that was packaged separate, but it was. Majestic Blue. I cannot wait to try all of these. Firefly, Wine Divine. Um, Red Lust, Ancient Copper. Ancient Copper, I did try that and it was really gorgeous. Pink Glitz, Shimmering Seas. I got two sample packs. Um, and Purple Pizzazz, I think I see one more. Golden Sands. So I did get a lot and yeah, 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 you are gonna manifest those like ASAP. Yeah, 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 you are because I'm, I'm in, I literally, it's just, it's so heavenly. It is. And the Twisby pen, oddly enough, I didn't bring up my favorite pen because it's in my plant, my Chic Sparrow. It's with my plan books because I'm heavy planning right now because we're camping next week. Okay. And I'm planning out my camping trip like you would not believe. Um, so making sure I have my Ralph Lauren sheets and my blow dryer, <laughs> okay? So, and my plan book. So I'm making sure I'm getting that written down. So I, I'm just, but it's in there, but I will have to say the Twisby is so yummy. I it, There is no liking more over another because they each, to me, with the ones I have, which is not very many, the Twisby, the Pilot, the noodler here and then the lammies i'm really attracted to these because of their vibrant colors but yet now twisby's got that other one with different colors i just love the way each one of them feel it's just it's a beautiful feel i love them i love the inks they're easy um twisby's super easy because it's like just literally sticking it in and twisting it up there is no like even with the lammy which is still easy i mean i just stuck it in twisted it up well, Leanne, listen, uh, the girls, good news. The girls, me said, me and you can watch YouTube channel on the Goulet Pens YouTube. <laughs> you know what you do? You just dive in. That's what I say about the Planner Perfect and the Planner Perfect Method. How do I start? It looks amazing. What do I do? You dive in. You just start writing out goals and mapping out a life that you love. Worry about everything else later, just but you got to start. Everyone start kind of intimidated at first. It seems intimidating, but once you get your hands on one and just start, you're like, this ain't so bad. This is like actually life changing. This is like phenomenal. So, and also too, I love the medium nib. That seems to be my favorite, though I've tried fine and I'm okay with it, but I love to doodle. So that's when Chris said, um... Well, for pricey, I think like girls, isn't the Lammy, when I went on Amazon and got some Lammies and then I went through Goulet, but they're around 29, aren't they? So even if you got one good Lammy and you got a bottle of ink and, or even the cartridges, it's just so much fun. I feel like when I was going through pen after pen after pen after pen, um, at Target, I was going through phenomenal amounts of pens. I mean, so I just feel like this is just gorgeous and easy and the way to go. Cause whether you go with a cartridge where I do believe it was like, I think I could get five ink cartridges for like six ninety five or something like that. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it, 
you love your oh Kaweco Kaweco I'll have to look into that too but I unless there is another one that you girls can say now I'd have to say when I use this noodlers one I'm not noticing much different than the other ones and I don't know if I'm supposed to but I thought I was because it's supposed to be more of a flexible nib but I did get a broad nib and so I'm still I want to try that too um yeah it's not bad Leanne and if you get one like if you picked one color they've got white pink black you know a green apple I think a blue um you do you save in the long run and then you can just pile up on some cartridges and or buy a bottle of ink and just keep filling up your same converter which is super easy you just literally stick the converter in it twist it put the ink in and then pop it back in your lammy it's just this wasn't well now i don't remember how much it was it was called blind shopping i was like in an it was i was in like some sort of shopping suicide i was like I just heard it was good, put it in my guard. I mean, I'm totally a shopper like that. I'm, everyone's like, Jenny, what? how much did you pay for that? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. All I know is I have no money left. That's all I know. That's what I'll tell people. Hey, how much did you pay for that shirt? How do I know? <laughs> I just bought it with a million other things. <laughs> is the Metropolitan kind of hefty? Chris, I think you mentioned that before. You know what? shopping trance you got that right you said you asked me that before and i'd have to say no i it's such a personal preference um listen sarah hop on board this crazy train hop on board i just started let's begin together it's 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 such a beautiful way to plan your life and when you combine it with beautiful planning i mean you just you can't you're like is this real life <laughs> That's what you're, you know and, and, and combine it with me outside with a cup of coffee with the birds I'm like is this real life or you know someone slapped me out of this reality because I'm like living in some fourth dimension right now I mean that's how I feel it's not bulky to me I love it I love my Twisby I love the pilot and I love the Lammies I, I'd have to say I love all of them I love how they feel in my pen yeah, Sarah, you do, and then you're going to tell me you did. That's what you're going to do. I'm going to hold you girls accountable. Who's the other gal, Leanne? Do it, and then tell me that you bought it. Danielle, that's what I say. I'm like, what? I what? I mean, where am I right now? Someone slapped me. That's how I... I'm like, guys, when they wake up, my kids, my kids, don't talk to me. I, I'm in heaven right now. Unless you want to sit out with me and write, that's cool. But I'm in some sort of bliss so with these other inks i mean i just i'm figuring out I, maybe i should watch more video but i need to like figure out how to like unload and like like what i did tell me if i'm wrong my you know what my metropolitan is not scratchy at all to me i don't know let's tell us what pen and ink you're using with the planning method now okay well debbie i'll just tell you right now i'm using the twisby and i'm using the kiri sammy same sammy wish you girls could see that it's driving me nuts there see it it's backwards but you guys can read backwards and i have that and i'm using my twisby and it writes like silk and then i'm also using the carbon ink Okay, it's not focusing, but the carbon ink, and it's by it's platinum carbon ink. Um, yeah, anywho, from Japan, and I just filled up the um, Lamy with the converter with this ink, and it writes like it's so amazing. I I use Carter Pilot, so I might have to reboot to save money on black pens. Oh, okay. Well, right now I'm waiting for my converter for my pilot. Of course, now you, the one thing comes with it. So I, I have to figure that out. But I did order a, like a traditional looking converter for the pilot as well. Um, watercolor over the waterproofing. Seriously, Anita. Now I did hear that this was so great. The go-to ink for like waterproof. So seriously? Well, now I'm gonna, that sounds, that sounds amazing to do. And so, yeah, I'm, 
I'm really not sure how to use why I need these. Why do I need these, girls? The syringes. Now I'm filling empty ink cartridges and converters, but I mean, the Lamy one you twist in, and the Twisby you twist in, the Pilot. Is it for the Pilot? Why do I need this? Can we see some calligraphy? You know, I will do that again some other time because I don't have anything to hold. I don't have anyone to hold it or I don't have a thing right up in, to do it. They fill the cartridge. Which cartridge though? Because like the Twisby, you just put it in and then like, you know, is it for the pilot? Okay, so to clean out. Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes complete sense. Save your used car and, oh, okay, okay. Not for the pot, you just squeeze it. Oh, I just squeeze it. Okay, I'm gonna try that when I get off with you guys. I'm gonna totally try that because I was intimidated by that little thing. Cause it didn't look like a normal cartridge. I'm a newbie, but I looked at it, I was like, what the heck is this? I didn't, I didn't get it. Um, Goulet has a, I know they have a cleaning kit, Tasha and I want to get it okay I saw it and I want to get it I thought you know this first two hundred dollars will suit me <laughs> and then I'll go back and get the cleaning kit <laughs> I know I know Kathy now what I was doing was I was just sticking it underwater the pen is that okay Bella who was that I don't know. way to go you said you're here what who? I don't know. And then you shut he the said door? I need your mom. Oh, that's interesting. Huh? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, listen, girls, I have a man at the door who needs to talk to the mom. Um, refill used throwaways and with your other colors. Refill used throwaways with your other colors. Okay. Okay. Yep, water rinses. Okay. Well, I feel like I'm on a roll and I know what I'm doing and all of that. And um, girls, I do you see this beauty? I am so on a, I'm telling you, I'm just loving this so, so much. Okay. Okay, Danielle, thank you. Over oh, calligraphy better with fountain pens over the Faber-Castell, different types of calligraphy pens. Well, Faber-Castell, I really, the only time I use Faber-Castell with my calligraphy is if I draw it out first and then, you know, I'm drawing on the down strokes and all that and then I'll just fill it in with the Faber-Castell. I've actually been practicing on my lettering a little bit because I want to actually put the lettering on my journals, my faith journals. And I've been using Tombow for that actually, where I'm just actually just doing the calligraphy. It just, the, the brush pen is much better for that. I mainly use a lot of Faber-Castell as well, just within my artwork for, for the finer um, parts of the artwork that I need and, and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, for, I use Tombow, Tombow pens and markers for my lettering. I know that. And then calligraphy, honestly, before I knew really much about the fountain pens, whenever I did calligraphy, I just had like calligraphy pens where I was dipping my pen in ink and writing. And I would do that in my Etsy days and actually script out stuff and like that. Um, refill the throwaways like your mom so you can refill them and plug them back in the pen. Okay. Oh, I see Kathy. Oh, okay, 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 great. Don't throw those away. That's what you're saying. Okay, that's awesome that I know that. Don't buy calligraphy pens. Really, Chris? Really? Um, they don't stay sharp. No, they dull. They do. They Yeah, they don't stay sharp. No, they don't. <laughs> and it's not, it's not, it's not, you know, but I, I haven't, you probably have to replace them pretty quick and all of that kind of thing. Well, that was very useful information. Girls, I hope that this was fun for you as it was for me. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about specifically many habits that you can begin doing to create goals, to 
have the best life ever, okay? And to create new habits so you can actually wake up and do the things that you said you were gonna do. Let's start off with mini habits. I read a great book and I know it's gonna help you. So um, are you going to have some, I know I am Anita. I'm already having so much fun. It's, it's so, so much bliss, so much bliss. Love you girls too. Tomorrow we're gonna talk about mini habits and I'll keep you posted on all my fun writings and I'll do a demo, I promise, when I have my um, setup that I can write with my new pens as well, with new colored inks and things like that. So we'll do that too. So bye you guys.